What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another live stream from the Scale of Learning channel. And this is all new digital SAT math content. For those of you guys taking the digital SAT for the first time this March or any point in the future that you're watching this, this is the new material from Khan Academy. And I'm teaching all the math going through every single topic. We're starting here in the foundations level, and then we're gonna move up to medium and advanced. This topic is probability and relative frequency. I'm seeing the problems for the first time in real time. That's how I'm gonna teach them as I explain them. <coughs> and solve them without further ado, let's do it. The table shows how the students of Gilbert Prep commute to school and how close the students live from the school. Based on the table, how many students live within 1.5 miles of the school? So we're just reading the, the chart here, right? Live within 1.5 miles of the school, that's more than. So all we care about is this amount. It doesn't say how many live within 1.5 and walk or bike or and drive the car, whatever, it's just the total. So all we got to do is take these values and add them up. 2 plus 8 is 10 plus 6 is 16. I know we could use a calculator, but whatever. 10 plus 6, 16, carry the 1, 2. So we got 266. 266 for the win. Nailed it. Done. All right. The table shows the number of students with shellfish and nut allergies. How many students have neither shellfish nor nut allergies? So they have neither. Okay. Um. So we have not allergic to shellfish and not allergic to nuts. So we want the intersection of those two where they have no allergies. And that would be right here, right? Now let me move that so we can see it better. So it's right there. The, the 121 people are both not allergic to nuts and they're not allergic to shellfish. So 121, D is the winner. Let me make sure have neither shellfish. Yeah. Boom. Reading a table. And that's that. That's how you read the, the, the table. Here we go. The table shows the number of people who wear glasses, contact lenses, both or neither in a random sample of 100. According to the table, how many people in the random sample do not wear contact lenses? Okay. So do not, wait, is it just do not wear? Yeah, so do not wear contact lenses is just in this little category right here, right? We don't care about whether or not they don't wear contact lenses, but wear glasses or don't wear glasses or whatever. We just say, hey, how many people do not wear contact lenses? And it's this amount, 63 plus 26, which would be 89. A is the winner. Boom, last one. Bill asked 50 Chicagoans and 50 non-Chicagoans the question, does ketchup belong on a hot dog? The table summarizes the responses. How many Chicagoans responded yes? Like you might look at these questions and be like, well, it's just yes, like what's going on? And oh, actually, by the way, it's Chicagoans that responded yes. They said, how many Chicagoans? But again, this is what it's about. And they might get more complicated, or more convoluted. But these questions are, can you read and interpret a table of data? So you could have just done what I did just now and made a mistake and be like, yes, it's 33. But they said, how many Chicagoans responded yes? And that is two. Boom, that's how you do it. All right, that's it, guys. I hope if anybody watching this or using these videos to prepare, I hope you find them useful. If you do like this video, make sure to click that like button. If you want to see more from the Scale of Learning channel, make sure to click subscribe. And last but not least, if you want the best in SAT prep uh, resources, go to the SATcrashcourse.com. Use the code SCALER for 20% off. That's all I got for this short video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next video. Take it easy.